Hi, so I'm gonna do the King Arthur flour baking company version of the brownies. Um, so I'm gonna have the chocolate chips, but what I've decided to do is that I'm gonna split my batter into two smaller pans and I'm only gonna put chocolate chips in the one pan and we're gonna see how that affects the shiny crust that we're looking to get. So I'm doing an experiment with mine. You just make them in a nice big nine by 13 pan and it can be metal or it can be glass, either one works. And let's get started. Why? Because it's easier to lift out the brownies to cut them out of the pan. You don't have to put the parchment in there, but you want to spray down your pans with pan spray. Okay, the parchment just makes it a whole lot easier to take your brownies and lift them out and cut them on a cutting board. The King Arthur uh, recipe says to beat your four eggs with your cocoa powder, your salt, your baking powder, optional espresso powder, and your vanilla until smooth for about a minute on medium speed. I'm just going to use a bowl and my whisk, so. So this calls for one and a quarter cups of the Dutch processed. So here's a quarter of a cup. 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 So that's four. So that equals one cup. And another quarter of a cup. Right? One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking powder. It says one teaspoon of uh, espresso powder optional. I happen to have coffee extract. So because it's a liquid and it's an extract, it's a little more strong, I'm just gonna use a little half a teaspoon here to enhance that chocolatey flavor. Okay, it's a great product. But you, and you, again, this is optional. It'll be just fine with just the cocoa, okay? And a teaspoon of vanilla. and then whisk it all together for about a minute until it smooths out. And I did not sift my cocoa powder, which I probably could have gotten away with sifting my cocoa powder because it's a little lumpy, but it's gonna dissolve here together. So we're just gonna whisk, whisk, whisk until it all smooths out. That looks pretty good. I don't have a microwave, so 
this is what I do. I put it in a saucepan and I melt it. Okay, the butter is melted mostly. And so I've got two and a quarter cups of the granulated sugar. And that's gonna go in. And we're gonna stir that and continue heating it just until it kind of dissolves the sugar a little bit and looks shiny. They recommend 110 to 120 degrees. I'm just gonna stir it and you're gonna see it look a little bit shinier. Let's see where we are. That's 119 right there. So you can see how it kind of like folds into itself a little bit and it's got a nice sheen to it. Double check. Yep, that's 119. So doesn't take much. All right. Okay, so we'll add in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One. And a half. Alright, so you can add in your flour and your chocolate chips and get them mixed in. I am going to divide my batter, so I am going to only do my flour right now. And then once I get one of my smaller pans filled, then I'm going to add in the chocolate chips for the second one. Alright? And you'll notice that I'm kind of folding, which is going down to the bottom and folding it over. Scrape your bowl. Scrape off your spatula. Very good, gonna go wash my hands now.
And here's Miss Arhalia feeling better. Say hi, everybody. I'm feeling better. Say hi.